Hey guys, it's Panda Cuba. Today I'm going to show you my top five WCA puzzles for beginners. So I just registered for my next competition in February and I noticed that quite a few people aren't doing more than one event. I think that you're missing out on doing some really fun puzzles. So what I thought I would do is make a video about how easy the next sort of lot of easy puzzles are and what you need to learn in order to solve them. So hope you enjoy the video. So I'm just gonna go through their names first and then I'll go into each one individually. Two by two, Skoob, Pyraminx, four by four, Mega Minx. So these are the five puzzles I recommend for beginners to learn. Two by two for me is a really easy event. Um, you don't need to know F too well. You can solve it like a three by three. So how do you solve it? Essentially, you do what you do on a three by three. And you wanna make a white bottom. You then look at the top. If you know to look OLL, there are new ways to recognize the cases. For example, this is, I think the equivalent of suit. You do the alg you'd normally do for that. And then you wanna do a corner switching PLL. So it does help if you know to look OLL and PL. It makes solving this a lot faster so you don't have to use beginner's method. A lot of people, if you go to comps, they're not big fans of Skube. Skube's really easy. There's only one alg you need in order to solve it. In order to solve a Skube, you just need to do the following. Make a white top with the sides pieces matching. You then need to look at your yellows. If you've got headlights and opposite sides here, you're going to do this alg. Thumb down. Push with your two fingers, pull up with your thumb, pull across, put the yellow on the back, put your four sides on top, the alg, we go. From here, you're gonna turn it to the side where you see this, which is a 180. Solve sides as a U, and you wanna look for the side where the opposite colors are three by three are, and again, Turn it 180 and you're done. And that's why I really like skew. All right, let's talk Pyraminx. Pyraminx isn't really a cubic puzzle. The tips rotate. If you're a beginner, one of the first things I'd probably do is just realign your tips so that they match the colors around them. Then what you wanna do is you wanna make a whole layer the same color. And then you can see here, I have three edge pieces that don't match. You rotate until one of them matches the sides around them. And then there's like a algorithm you do to solve that. And then a final alg is really easy. Basically up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across. And you see they still don't match. One more time. And they all match. Four by fours, you can essentially solve like a three by three. So let's just scramble it up. One thing different in this compared to a three by three is you can see there's no center piece here. You can actually see the screw just there. There's no center cap covering it. That's because this is an even numbered cube. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make centers. I always start with the white or yellow. So you now can see I've got a yellow top and a white bottom. Oh, well, the next step is to find bars of color. And there we go, I got my last bar. So now that we've done that, we're gonna make sure that all of these line up in the correct arrangement. So I'm gonna do white on the bottom. So I'm gonna have to have green next to orange, next to blue, next to red. And you can see that they now line up. From here, we need to do edge pairing. There is an algae you can learn online, which um, pairs these up. For this to work, they must be the same orientation. So white, white, orange on the sides. And you'll have to just keep repeating this. And they pair up. And that's the last one. So if I look around the cube, all the edges should have a partner that matches. There shouldn't be any mismatched ones like this. So the next step is basically like solving a three by three. I wanna make a white cross. And there you go, I've got my white cross with the centers matching just like on a three by three. This is a step now, if you know F2L, you could do F2L to solve this. If you don't know F2L, then you could use um, the same algorithm you learn in basic method. Okay, so this is what we call parity. It's where you don't get a dot, a hook, or a line or a cross. You can see that normally this should be flipped. So you won't recognize this as an OLL case if you know OLL. So you need to learn a parity L. The one I know is terrible. And if you've done it right, you should have an OLL case that you recognize. 
yellow top. And if you know full parallel, and you can solve it. There is another algorithm you can learn, which helps you if you have this scenario, which sometimes you do get in the case. So four by four is really fun in that sense, and I really do enjoy it as a cube. So my last recommendation is to learn Mega Minx. It is basically a dodecahedron, which basically means it's got a pentagon 12 times around it. Um, it's really similar to a three by three, so I'm just gonna scramble this up and show you what I mean. Okay, that looks nice and scrambled. You need to know F2L and about four owls in order to solve this puzzle. So very much like a three by three, your first step is to make a white cross. So white cross. The next step is F2L. You wanna insert these pieces. You line the pair up, and then you insert the pair. So now that you've done this side, you want to insert these edge pieces here and here. Every time you go around now, you're basically doing extended F2L. Pair them up, insert. Okay, so now that we've finished all these bottom layers, the first step is to make a gray star. F sexy, and you can see you've got a gray star. These two still match, these three still don't. One more time, and now you can see that they match. From here, we want to make this whole bottom gray sexy and you can now see we have a gray bottom. Just realign it so that your centers match. Now that we've done that, we're going to make sure now that each of these corners matches and you've solved your mega mix. So this looks complicated, but if you know how to solve a three by three, you can solve this guy too. So those are just my recommendations for new puzzles that you can learn to solve if you know how to solve a three by three. If you have any other suggestions, don't forget to put them in the comment section down below. In the description, I'll also pop links to how I learned to solve these, and I'll also pop links to daily puzzles and these particular cubes and their prices. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you check out my Instagram, panda underscore cuba, and subscribe to get notified when your videos come out. Thanks for stopping by. Stay safe.